Hello and uh, welcome to this Gudi Parva uh, special episode uh, of Food of Pesi Kitchens, where we are going to be uh, celebrating the spate of festivals coming up in these two, three days. And Gudi Parva is the, uh, the beginning of the new year uh, for the Maharashtrian community. And I thought I'll catch up with my friend uh, Jayesh Paranjipe, who is, lives in Pune, but uh, with Zoom we can connect. And uh, hi Jayesh, uh, happy Gudi Parva hi. to you. Thank and, you, thank uh, you so much, and wishing you the same. Thank you so much. So I've known Jayesh for uh, a few years now. Uh, first, like this, through chats only, and then in person. So whenever I have anything to do on Maharashtrian food or culture, I reach out to him, and you know, there's so much that he knows. And uh, in Pune, he also does food walks, and I've attended his food walk in camp and taken a lot of his recommendations when I went to the Pate area. Um, he also does tours across uh, the country, and he's also the food critic uh, for the Times of India in uh, Pune. And yes. uh, among other things, he has very fond memories of eating uh, biryani with his grandfather at, uh, <laughs> what was the Parsi place in uh, Pune? Gurabji. Father, Gurabji. actually, not grandfather. But... Oh, father. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. So, uh, Jayesh, how was uh, Guri Parva while, growing, while you were growing up? What are your memories? So actually, um, Gudi Padwa one obviously because Wait, of, uh, we, um, we have a little uh, canine friend. I'm, I'm used to like my my kitty's uh, photo bombing. What's his name? So, or her name? Uh, okay. She's Bella. Actually, Bella. she is. Bella. It's it's storm. It, it is a small storm in Pune right now, and oh, it's a little stormy weather. And yeah, so she's she's not leaving my side. So I tried oh, to take thing. her out of the room. Poor thing. No, no, no. You shouldn't. In fact. <laughs> Loaf is here, Nimki is here. My, yeah. So tell me about your childhood memories of Guri Parva. So yeah, childhood memories, I mean, um, so all the festivals, I mean, uh, uh, we are a fairly a non-religious family in, in my household. So festivals for us is mostly food, actually. So, you know, um, be it food is our religion. Be, yeah, food, food is, is our religion. religion. And, and this is the case with not just my, just, just us or my siblings or my sisters. But even my mother, even my grandmother, actually, we were not, not like a very religious family as such. And it's more to do with traditions than religion, actually. Um, uh, so food traditions, yes, one part is definitely the food tradition. Because in our place, everything is fairly convenient. Like whenever there's a puja happening, so there's no like set thing where, you know, murta, bhagun, kima, sakai. It's fairly a chilled out uh, festival otherwise so yeah i mean gudi parva is generally a chilled out festival but uh, yeah i mean in the morning we do get up and then in we we have that uh, i mean we call it gudi ubharane which is like a stick uh, with a kalash or a loti and uh, a piece of, of fabric um, so it's like a it's like a uh, what do you say it's like a flag sort of a thing but it also has neem uh, leaves and batashe which is like uh, the sugar, uh, the sweets, the yeah. In, in Bengal, they yeah, call yeah. it batasha. Yeah, yeah. So and then you've got like a um, mala made from it, and then uh, we we put all of that together, and generally we will put something like uh, you know like a the fabric is also supposed to be very you know ornate or a traditional fabric basically. Is so is any is, is any significance to it? Uh, so I. So Goody, actually, so my mom used to tell me that it used to be to, you know, welcome Ram after uh, he won over uh, some Ram. demon or something. Yeah. No, no, some other, yeah. I, you know, some welcoming of Ram. So that's something which is a little ambiguous for me also. But it's mostly to do with probably just uh, the flag, basically. of mm -hmm. the, It's also the uh, first day of Chaitra month, right, where we, with the Marathi calendar um, the year starts so it's also it's also that's very i was just talking to mom and she was like chaitra samtana paus and it's basically uh, the rain is generally earlier than what it it's supposed to chaitra. be yeah yeah so, I, I mean uh, it's it's new year in bengal as well so you know poila boishak and boishak is when yeah. the storms happen I, I think this time it's a couple of days after on the 15th yeah. But it's a New Year's for the Sindhis, uh, I believe. Sindhis also. Uh, Kerala. Interesting, right? I mean, so many parts of India, there's yeah. a New Year. 
But listen, let's talk about it. Yeah. I mean, it's very funny that it's just uh, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra, Goa, uh, the Sindh region, and Bengal probably. Yeah. But not the other states. I mean, I don't know what no. the what, what's the festival in the other states. Like Gujarati but, New Year is doing Diwali. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. Some other places already happened. So we, yes, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, food wise, yes. I mean, yeah, Josh. I, I think that you and I should focus on our religion, <laughs> which is uh, food. So tell me, what yeah. did little what did little Josh look forward to on uh, when it was Guri Parva? So generally, one that uh, so. We used to, uh, the Batash is right, that that was like the main attraction because whenever we used to go, like my mother or us go and shop for the Batashes uh, from the market, um, we used to buy two or three so that by the time we actually uh, erect the goodie, the last one would be remaining. Otherwise, we would have, you know, sort of eaten <laughs> so she would, all of the others. So she'd buy, she'd so, buy some extra. Yeah. <laughs> and now, actually, since the past, I think a few years, my mom is making at home uh, the batashes yeah. because we found a way to do it. And then in the home, we also put kesher and all of that in the batashes. More flavors. So then, yeah, more flavor and it's more hygienic, probably. <laughs> uh, yeah, every day, kids, we never thought of that. Uh, those markets which you went to in uh, as a kid. Were they the more central uh, markets, like the one? Uh, no, to... not really. So, uh, like we've always sort of lived in Kotrud, which is like a suburb of Pune. But we used to have like a smaller uh, market here around and all. So, in but all the yeah, neighborhoods, you would get it. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, so it's but not that people would travel to. No, Pune but if you go to the old city, like particularly around Mandai and that area, if you go during any festival, be it Holi, be it uh, Gudi Padwa, be it Mahashivratra. The, it's a little larger, like, you know, uh, uh, you do have like vendors who will be selling you uh, the khan, which is like the fabric which we use, right? We could use like some sari also, but then Pune has this one specific fabric called the khan fabric or the Paitani sari's uh, fabric Paitani also Paitani. is, Paitani. yeah. So, yeah, I mean, the khan fabric is also sold and then, yeah, I mean, it's basically you'll get everything at one stop, like one location, mostly if you go to the old city, particularly. Yeah, have you ever done uh, food food walks during Gudi Parva in all your times? No, so uh, so Gudi Parva, no, but then we've done a lot during Ganpati and Diwali. We do yeah, a lot of these walks because both the times, particularly, uh, in fact, Diwali, I was not, I mean, I was not sort of. Uh, for us, it's a regular thing, right? Uh, I mean, going and shopping for Diwali. And, yeah. But for a lot of people who have migrated to Pune, they don't really know uh, what the culture of the day prior to Diwali, what sort of things you get otherwise. Because in the suburbs, you'll not get everything. You know, you'll not get those chota diyas. And so, yeah. in fact, one of the one one year I had done a exclusive Diwali shopping walk. So. <laughs> I just uh, gathered at around Monday and told people that we get things here, we get things here, we'll just walk and buy. And so Pune, uh, Pune, in a way, is, uh, I mean, the original capital of Maharashtra, I mean, right? I mean, cultural capital. Yeah, so, huh. so I'm, I'm sort of guessing that the, around uh, Guri Parva, it would be a bit more special uh, there than maybe, say, in Bombay or something like that? Yes. Um, more than the, because see, the thing is that the stuff which you get otherwise, uh, the stuff which you have to do for Gudi Padwa is basically something which you already have at home. So there's a, not a lot of shopping, shopping involved as such, uh, because you have a piece of fabric, you have the loti, you have the stick, you have the, uh, batashe is something you generally buy, uh, mm -hmm. from outside and the, Unfortunately, whenever we have festivals like these, the trees are massacred, which I personally don't like. Like particularly even during uh, when we give those apte leaves uh, during uh, when do we give them? Oh shit, uh, <laughs> Sankranta only. Sorry. Um, so that is a time when the apte trees also is uh, yeah. So yeah. So the neem leaves is something you do get it uh, on the yeah, but yeah. That's something which we used to, wherever we used to live, there used to be a neem tree. So we used to take it from there. And uh, as, as, as your childhood memories of uh, Guri Parva, uh, was it more like something which was, the day was spent with family uh, at home or would you visit 
uh, you know, with extended family or related? Uh, or mostly neighbors? at home because uh, I mean, it, it used to be a, it, in Maharashtra. It's a holiday, uh, okay. so we used to do like uh, I mean, food one yes. In the mornings, we used to also do like a puja and all. But I don't think the in um, I mean the uh, culture of going out and uh, visiting relatives is not. Very much uh, there. Like it's oh, they're doing Ganpati, right? They're doing Ganesh Ganpati, or even even uh, yeah, yeah. People Diwali, Ganpati, so. yeah. So those yeah. are the times when we do get go out, and you know, even holy for that matter, we do go out. And is, is there uh, anything given to the neighbors or something like, say, doing Diwali, one gives sweets or? But uh, I don't know. But then one thing I know is that Srikanda is <laughs> at home. So <laughs> it's also yeah. I mean, Srikhand is something which you generally make uh, during uh, yeah. And, and with puri, puri yes, or basundi. But then Srikhand is more sort of uh, traditional, and it's mm-hmm. also it's very interesting that you know it's also the start of the mango season, right? So yes. uh, it's also Amrakhand. Then we also do the what uh, kairichi dal, which is also one of my favorite things to eat, and now. It's uh, it's uh, because kairis are available throughout the year. I can eat it throughout the year. <laughs> so, so um, you know, for for the non Maharashtrian or even non Gujarati uh, audience, can you sort of um, tell what is like shikhan, the essence of it? It's it's like a sweetened hunk or in a way, right? I mean, if, yes, like uh, chakka. We call it chakka, which is like uh, uh, the water is completely removed from uh, the dahi. So it's kept in a so cloth, right? Yeah, it's set in a cloth, and then uh, yeah. So it's also it's a, it's also a big process because you know if uh, when whenever we used to, in fact, my grandmother used to make uh, shrikhand at home, but she used to also make the chakka at home actually. So um, the preparation of making shrikhand used to start around two to three days prior to actually making the shrikhand. Because the water needs to be dripping out completely, and then the the, whenever the chak- yeah from the curd, and then whenever the chakka is formed, then you add um, sugar and a little bit of milk. Uh, we do add a little bit of milk to it, and sugar mostly, obviously a huge amount of uh, sugar, and <laughs> and to basically um, you so she was very particular about not mixing it with uh, spoons. So you have to mix it with. your hand and you have to actually sort of there's a i don't know there's a process of uh, uh, actually smearing it basically on a surface and so that's how the sugar is um, what do you say sugar is blend, dissolved blend also into. and you, yes blended also and you don't increase the temperature of the chakka so that it doesn't get uh, very watery So the chakka is the dahi with the water drained out. Drained out. So it's very thick. Hmm. So um, and and, and so some people also add the elaich, right? Cardamom. Elaichy, uh, cardamom. So, yeah, yeah. We do add cardamom, kesar, and uh, there's a specific uh, dry fruit called charoli. Charoli, which which also yeah. sometimes the Parsi lagan no custard. It's, Correct. Uh, so it's like that uh, crunchy. So to add that crunch, na. So we do add charoli actually. And Amra Khand will have mango pulp in that. Mango pulp in it, yes. And tell us a bit about the Amba dahi, yeah, Kairi dahi. Say, what am I saying? Kairi dal. Ambe dal, ambe dal. Ambe dal. So ambe dal is Again, basically three different names. <laughs> ambe ambe dal, okay. Ambe dal is basically you know your chana dal soaked chana. for a long time. So it's not cooked actually, but it's soaked for a long time. And then after the soaking is done, you generally put it uh, in a mixer just. For a small bit of time, so it's coarsely. It still has that bite, basically. And Before cooked. So it's not cooked actually. It's ah. a salad sort of a thing. So it's not cooked, oh. and then so the chana dal is just pisoed in the uh, mixer only for like a small amount of time, so that it it still has that coarse uh, yeah. And then you add generally we add uh, grated uh, kairi to it. And uh, then we do a tempering. So curry of, is uh, raw or unripe? Curry is raw, raw mango. Raw mango, yes. Yeah. So we do like a finely uh, grated curry to it, and uh, generally put a tempering of uh, mustard, 
uh, red chilies, hing a little bit, and uh, some people do add curry patta. We don't add curry patta. And and what and, do you have it with? Sounds and delicious. Salt, sugar, no. So generally, so we generally have it just like that. Oh, but yeah. it's, it can be substituted for a, like a koshim beer, which is like a salad. Salad. Like wow, wow. So, so that's uh, something. Uh, yeah, thing. So that's something which you know you look forward to. Kairi dal is something which is. Uh, and now because Kairi is. I can get the tantalizing touch I feel in my mouth. Yeah. yeah, it's it's actually a, a lot of people do, and and we also had a lot of uh, grated coconut as well in it. Wow, I hope I Russians can't do somewhere. without coconut. <laughs> yeah, unless I've already had it. Okay, so now we've heard uh, what little Jayesh used to do as a kid, which is to try to finish, not finish all the batashas at home, and <laughs> and watch watch grandma make the shrikanda and the amrakanda. What are you doing now? Uh, uh, how do you celebrate uh, Gudi Parva now? So, or, Gudi Parva you something is, uh, interesting with your mom, right? Tell us about that. Yeah, yeah. So um, we, so me and my mom uh, last year because of the lockdown, uh, I am from the travel industry and the food industry, two of the worst hit industries in the country because of the pandemic. So yeah, there was a lot of free time. My mom is also a senior citizen, so she was also prohibited from grow, going really out of the What's house. her name? So we were, Meena Paranspe. Meena Paranspe. So we were sort of at home and, you know, we were thinking of a uh, lot of, during the uh, lockdown, I think a lot of people started something from their home kitchens. And so though mom comes from a catering background, like the past four years, she's not, she sort of left it. And we sort, we had really stopped um uh, the catering business as such. So I thought that, you know, why not start something which is, uh, we'll give uh, food which we make uh, in our home for weddings, special festivals. So that's how I sort of, we came up with this concept of providing banana leaves with the meals. And so it, the, the whole system is called Pangat, which is like, you know, sitting down and then uh, serving on a banana leaf. Like I know a few restaurants wanna... whose names are Pangat. Like yes, in, Pangat, uh, in Mumbai, uh, yeah. Yes. Then Sai's book is called Pangat. So yeah, but of course, Sai's book. So yeah, you worked with so, her also in festivals. Yes. So, so the Pangat means like a, like a Pangti, like a line of people sitting and then. Uh, oh, like we see uh, even like in the yeah, Langar yeah, yeah. or Bengali yeah. weddings, we would, yeah. yeah. So that's how the, uh, so we sort of uh, doing that on a very small scale. Whatever my mom, mom could, uh, the number of uh, thalis we could, so, like, yeah. And it sort of picked up and we've been doing good business, as in good uh, deliveries for the past, I think, five, six months. And um, whenever there's a specific, specific festival, we do give out, like, a, so we did a holy special Puran Poli Thali last week, la, during holy last, last week. And so for Gudi Padwa, because it's like a Shrikanda thing, so we thought of making uh, like a, the same the, uh, material remains the same, like the components of the thali remain uh, the same, but we've sort of, instead of the sweet puran poli or the modak, we've uh, added shrikhanda instead of that. And instead of chapatis, we've added puris. And then instead of like the panchamrut, which is like a pickle thing, which is in, instead of that, we are doing a methamba, which is... Uh, like a uh, mango jam with methi seeds, like you know, the tempering has methi in it. So, so, so tell, me that, the, tell me the final menu because you said this instead of that, this ah, instead of that. So, so what is the menu? Padua, what we've done is uh, it's a shrikanda thali. So it's ah. shrikanda uh, with kesha, elaichi, and everything. Uh, we're doing puris. We are doing masale bat. We're doing tomato so sar, which is like a tomato ka with, with coconut milk. Uh, we are doing methamba chutney, chutney uh, with a regular green chutney, and uh, our koshimbir, and um, we also give like a vida, which is like the pan at the end of it uh, to finish the meal, and um, we also will give out uh, the banana leaf so that uh, we people know what to put where. So that actually, in fact, that is a whole, so. So the menu came in later the point of this pangat was to give out meals on banana leaves actually wow what a coincidence and and, and i'm so glad you said this because you know when one uh, uh, so thinks of banana leaf and food writing and all that uh, typically nowadays uh, it's associated with uh, 
the food of kerala and the sadhya kerala yeah? sadhya correct but but banana leaf is so universal i mean in maharashtra then even yeah. the parsi uh, caterers would put banana leaf but on a plate and in the yeah. 1980s when i moved into uh, calcutta from abroad weddings and everything used to be on uh, banana leaf of course different format like in calcutta they would put the leaf and then the food would come and you would eat out of it i i had uh, marina balakrishna's vishu sadhya and it came with like a full blueprint and i followed it okay this year this year, this year. <laughs> so how how's the maharashtrian so, banana leaf meal is it so uh, we place it vertically vertically so like this it, yeah vertically oh like a garden. so the origin so from where the banana leaf actually grows now it should face your stomach ah so so, so the, the broader location. point The broader, broader point, point is the one towards your stomach, and then ah. so it's kept vertically. Actually, so you have to eat like this. Ha! Huh. So, so even if you know, so even if you cut the leaf like this, and huh. there is no broader point, or a, uh, the person who has cut the leaf, now he'll also give it in a way that you'll know that you have to place it the way it's supposed to be placed. Actually, so it's basically yeah. I mean, when I mean when I also sort of. Uh, Did this thing? A lot of people thought that it is supposed to be kept uh, horizontal. Yeah, because even in Bengal, uh, it is horizontal. So this is vertically. So in fact, I also give out like a like you said the blueprint. I also have a card which uh, also says place the leaf vertically and then start with this. Start with oh, this. Oh, how how lovely! And um, so um, and is there any order of eating the food, or that is free for like the no, sadhya? No, there's no, a sort of order it's it's served together it's there's a way of serving so you know you'll put the lemon first or the salt first and that sort of thing so serving is uh, fixed but then you can eat generally a lot of people we eat our uh, rice first actually mostly sometimes so even in shaadi is rice comes first and then the shikanda would be later no no so it's served together but generally no. whenever there is a serving the rice comes first and then the puri is come actually Okay. And and the, the the tomato sar would be in a bowl, right? Because that's yes. like a soup, in a yes. in a uh, sense. Yeah. And yeah. and the wonderful thing is, I I believe I was seeing on your Instagram page that it's sold out. So that's that's lovely. Yeah. And uh, so again, who, we are limited by uh, some like we are limited by how much we can cook at home. No, that's, uh, that's and how my mom can can also manage. Yeah. Our upper limit is seventy five. She's managed to cook, cook for seventy five thalis actually. Wow, that's a lot. So there'll be seventy five <laughs> happy uh, bellies in uh, Pune <laughs> tomorrow or, or today yeah. actually because our broadcast is on the Kuri Parva. But but those are tricks of broadcasting. So we're not going to. Yeah. Yeah. But but and and that's um, so lovely. And and and, and you know, I think it's wonderful that you know, you're doing it that this way. because imagine if she was doing more but under pressure i mean people can still do that yeah, but I mean, it's, one is yeah. joyously putting the food together the Correct. joy comes through i, I think that's we the in fact whenever we get uh, inquiries also we get ambitious a little bit but then we think that you know let's not because uh, what happens is she this is supposed to be like a passion project for the both of us yes so So whenever I am traveling, if I start becoming like if I start growing the business, this business particularly, then my travel company, uh, like the stuff which I do, like you know, writing about food yes, or travel yes. or uh, actually traveling, that sort of goes for a, a year. Now I can do it because it's I, I'm a little free right now, but um, no, I think I mean, that's we, the best way. That take each day at a time and focus on what yes. you're doing now. It's also uh, like you know, uh, yeah. I mean, it's something which. we have also decided that this is supposed to be like a, a you know hobby passion thing for both of us so we'll do it professionally but we'll do it as a very limited uh, quantity so how sweet is it it's like a mother and son uh, project do you, do you have any um, idea in terms of uh, the people who are subscribing to it or buying to it um, are they maharashtrians non maharashtrians are they puneries non puneries so we do get a lot of uh, non maharashtrians also but maharashtrians also do uh, no, so broad uh, idea 50 50 uh, yes. something more yes around that but we do have a lot of non maharashtrians also who particularly in suburbs where you don't get maharashtrian food very easily so you know 
how we when we started we thought that we'll get uh, orders from around this place in kothrud but it's also primarily maharashtrian uh, community in kothrud and karvenagar but we do get some business uh, some orders from here but mostly it is uh, vanauri baner that area where you know you have a cosmopolitan crowd or a, a newly immigrant crowd who is come and settled in pune but uh, don't really know where to also the food which we are doing right it's something which you'll get at somebody's home you'll not get it at a restaurant i mean you will have it at a restaurant like a shreyas or you know um, durvan but the taste won't be the same there would still be but differences taste, from yes. a volume yes. cooking correct. batch cooking correct. Correct. versus Definitely. a mom putting it together but how yes. wonderful because uh, you know if if uh, uh, you are not a part of the culture then through the food you are actually uh, becoming uh united with the local maharashtrian community and celebrating the new year together or Absolutely. or if you're a maharashtrian and like you said that um, you are you're not from the city or maybe now you know smaller nuclear families not everyone will be able to put up a sort of meal which ones uh, yeah. i would uh, i is uh, maharashtrian for marathi for mother uh, it's uh, in fact what i have also observed is because of social media Uh, we have a lot of people who are ordering from the US uh, or yes, Europe yes, or yes, their yes. parents or their grandparents. Yes, yes, yes. So tomorrow I have five, almost six or seven such people who have ordered from the US. Wow! Actually. Wow! So tomorrow is today because we are broadcasting <laughs> <laughs> today. <laughs> but and and we listen. We we hadn't planned to be color coordinated, but Jayesh and I are yeah. uh, you know like like brothers in a sense. So. Uh, uh please uh, wish uh, mummy and everyone uh, a very very happy guri parva and uh, and and uh, i think all the 75 uh, bellies will get the <laughs> pangat will be yes. missing i i can hope she's get some food for you also otherwise yeah. you'll have to order us sandwich from marjorie or something like that <laughs> you know what oh god you just mentioned it yeah oh yo <laughs> oh wait 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 wait, wait. So, uh, guy, and uh, show show the thing. So, guys, this is uh, the famous marzorin uh, chicken sandwich. Uh, from <laughs> so, marzorin is uh, uh, a Parsi-run uh, place in uh, Kant, and there are big debates on whether uh, Kandi's chicken sandwich in Mumbai is better or marzorin. I have a point of view on that, which hey, Goody Parva is not the right way to share that. <laughs> Jokes about. Thank you so much, guys. It's so lovely. Thank you. Smiling lovely and best, to you. best wishes. <laughs> Bye. Take thank care. Thank you. Thank you so much. And have a very, very happy New Year. I, I'm saying very, have thank a very, you. very thank happy New Year. Percent. Thank you. Bye. So, just one <laughs> question at the end that uh, you know, if one yeah. wants to wish one's non, if one wants to wish our Maharashtrian friends uh, on this day, what should one say? Like happy Guri Parva, of course. But is there any any uh, what should one happy Guri Parva is good enough? Uh, Yeah, I mean, Gudi Padwa cha Shubhecha is something which we say in Marathi, yeah, which is good, actually good. translates to Happy Gudi Padwa. Gudi Padwa cha Shubhecha, so no Shubhecha, <laughs> not Shubhecha, but this is like Shubhe, bringing the East and West together. Okay, great talking yeah. to you as always, Jai. Bye. Take Thank care. Thank you. Thank Bye. you.